try a little assimilation. And I'm the one who puts the pepper spray to Jose, sure. But all they give me is a gun and pepper spray. Pepper spray is a spy from Mexican. Just flip me off. That's right. I'm at the border with a stop sign in one hand and an attitude in the other. Yeah, a border patrol man. I'm keeping America American. Welcome back. Please sit down. Now understand how to catch your undocumented person or illegal alien, call them what you will. Better know this here, it's their history. Now Mexican history started really when Cortez landed in Mexico. Most Indians were happy to see him. They thought, look, turistas. Right, that's right. You see folks at that time, Mexico was just populated by savage Indians known as the Aztecs. Cortez encountered the Aztecs, sacrificed a virgin, so he arrested a young virgin girl named Malinche, and to make sure she was not sacrificed, he took her virginity away yeah, as quickly as he could. That was the first recorded workplace harassment in the Americas. It was called Me Too. Yep, she became Cortez interpreter and employee with benefits. That was the first recorded sexual harassment in Americas. It was not called Me Too at that time, it was called Me Stiso. It was a mestizo. They created the mestizo race. Now the Spaniards brought full employment to Mexico and Catholicism and the Aztecs became extinct. Although many Aztecs have Spanish blood in them, they're called mestizos. But I think a more accurate term is Spanish and Aztec blended together become Spastec. The Spastec race is far more accurate. I think I'm spastic myself. He's a spastic, I'm a spastic, you're a spastic too. Now remember, Latinos come in every size, shape, and color and size. Mostly large size because we love carbs. Like tamales. Don't eat the husk, Ringo. My favorite thing to do when I'm out in the field is walk up on the trunk of the car and I knock on it. And I say this, now no Mexican can ever resist this. Knock on the trunk. Que viva Mexico! Que viva Mexico! Ah, oh, shit. Can't resist. After Spanish made them all Spastecs, Mexico declared its independence from Spain and then uh, became uh, no longer a Spanish colony but kind of became a French colony. The French took over. That's right. The Mexicans kicked out the French because they thought Cinco de Mayo would make a wonderful drinking holiday and they were right. Now, in 1849, the United States invaded Mexico and Americans had to shell and shoot the Mexicans that invaded Mexico before they could actually force the lazy Mexican army to brutally attack them. Uh, I'm too tired to go to war, Jose. Uh, I'm sleepy. Yeah. I my Now, a lot of people in Congress are against the war. In fact, Abraham Lincoln was a Republican congressman. He was opposed to the Mexican-American War. He even lost his next election because he was considered traitor but not supporting the war. He was a, a rhino, a Republican in name only. He was the first rhino. Even the Irish soldiers refused to fight the Mexicans. About 200 actually deserted the Mexican army and joined the Mexican army. They were called the San Patricio, San Patricio's Brigade. That's the Irish and joined the Mexican. The Irish and Mexican have a lot in common. Yeah, they're alcoholics. Yes, that's right. Uh, they have that in common too. And they also have great songs with their wakes and they got a lot of soul. Now, even most artists were against the world war. Uh, Henry David Thoreau said the war is wrong. If we swallow up a Mexico, it'll be like a poison pill to our nation. Boy, were those losers wrong because it worked great. President Polk took all that land, and uh, that's most of the history of the southern border. And that was mostly ours. What about Canada? <laughs> Canada is basically America life. They don't count. The only good about Canada is they do give us really white people, like Michael J. Fox and Jim Carrey, a lot of TV stars. I'm Team Celine Dion. I don't want to be. <laughs> now, we will concern ourselves only with the southern neighbors. Oh, I forgot to mention, Puerto Ricans are legal. I respect Puerto Ricans, they are legal. Hey, Buford, who did Jennifer Lopez have to, you know? Uh, no, I, I, don't, I don't think she did anything, Jose. I don't think, uh, but you can check Lynn manuel Miranda, you can look up him. Oh yeah, he has three last names. Okay, believe me people, you generalize to make being in the Border Patrol that much easier. And we'll increase your stop and search a lot more if you're going to generalize. Look, Latinos are not always Mexicans. There are different kinds of Mexicans. There are Cuban Mexicans, Dominican Mexicans. Cubans are Mexicans on rafts, and Puerto Ricans are just legal Mexicans. Not all Colombians are drug dealers. 
Some are actually at it. Argentinians are not all European at all, but Argentinians think they are European. Peruvians just Japanese Mexican. Really? Not all Colombians are drug lords? Oh God, I didn't know that. Okay, back to your life. Have a great life. I love my job. I got a good, good job. I got a great wife, a married good woman, Mexican woman, Inez. Yeah. Look, she wants kids, but looking for me, her night shift has been our form of birth control. She says her biological clock is ticking, but I say put on the snooze alarm and let me get some sleep. I'm here to catch people, not make them. She took me to fertility clinic. And TJ, I know a little too my and TMI, but they put me in a room. They wanted to take my sample of my seed. You know, they start putting movies on. Debbie does. I was watching Debbie does Dallas so long she finally moved to Houston. It was a, it was embarrassing. Well, um, they found out my swimmers are slow, so I don't know how that happened. I was slow, but I made it to the United States. Don't give up. But Inez and I have been married about three years. She's a teacher I met at during a Inez raid on her, her elementary school. I was a so it's one of my best favorite raids. She's a great woman. She wants to have a baby. Well. I don't want to have a help come in and have a baby. There's 55 million Latinos here in the United States. Come on now. And they're tricky folks. They're coming here. And they're coming. You know, one in 15 undocumented people come to America have PhDs. Whereas one in a thousand Americans have PhDs. Yeah, I know what you're thinking. They're smart. How do we keep them out? Your disguises are real good. I saw a bunch of undocumented people dressed in a line cleaning up the highway, just crossing on over. The only problem was they were sweating. No government employee ever sweats. I caught them right away. Good observation. They never sweat. You know, the problem we got, we got a lot of historians and historical people want to teach this thing called uh, critical race theory, critical white race theory, something like that. And basically, it shows people our history. Now, what happens when we start telling all the Mexicans this land was once theirs? They're not going to like that. It's my traditional migration route. I need the Sierra Club to protect my ass. Oh, say that's it. I'm an endangered species. Fuck the gray whale. I'm as cute as a baby fur seal. Even more needy. Look at my little eyes. That's it. Jose, you want to go wait in the van? You want to go wait in the van? <sighs> Air condition on or off? Uh, oh, can I play my Bad Bunny season? No, Bad Bunny. Come on. I'll be good. All right, so I thought. Okay, What's happening, folks, now? We got a sign of war. And our shots being fired. And they're coming over and they're doing things like working and paying money in our social security system and all sorts of things like that and staying. Now, the French had a big thing with immigration. That's where we got the Statue of Liberty. They gave us this Lady Liberty statue and it looked real nice. They said, give us your poor, your huddled mask. But to show the new spirit of Statue of Liberty, we're going to take off the torch and have her just have a hand flipping off the rest of the world. That's the American. Well, oh yeah, dangerous out there at night. Only night clerks, pizza deliveries, and teachers have more danger than we do. Thanks for me. Hello? Breaking news. Tijuana cartel crime boss Felix El Raton Gomez is wanted by federal officials and are offering a $2 million reward for his capture. The elusive Gomez is wanted for exporting narcotics to the United States, illegal human trafficking, and death. The elusive Gomez is highly dangerous. If you have any information, call the hotline 1-800-GET-FELIX. Be sure to visit the Santee Swap Meet this weekend. 